Hello ladies, welcome. I decided not to start with my face so we can just go ahead and start right away. Welcome, if you're joining, uh, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from, just in case. And we are going to start with the two cards from my um, celebration last chance um, online card class. Okay, hello Sharon. <laughs> she said the alarm works. The alarms work. Yes. Okay, so if you're watching, uh, welcome. And um, what is this? This is in my monthly car class that I do. And instead of doing it in person, I'm doing it virtually. Uh, hopefully that um, lots of people will come and watch either the live or the, or the replay. This is part one of a three uh, series, three Facebook lives. So I'll come on today, um, obviously right now, and then I'll be on tomorrow at noon. And the next one will be tomorrow at four. And then we'll wrap it up tomorrow. But anyways, this is my host code and this is my ordering special. If you would like to receive the supplies for all six cards and we're going to make six different cards this time that's why i couldn't combine everything all at once hello Carly. welcome hello denise so that's why i'm, I'm not going to do everything at once because it would have taken too long so i'm going to do two cards today two and a four and a total of four tomorrow okay so this is my ordering special orders that are over $35 and we're talking about merchandise or catalog price uh, will receive the supplies for the six cards obviously you need you will need to provide your own stamp ink and all the adhesive and everything that you will need to finish the cards if you want to finish the create the cards as mine then you might need whatever stamp i'm using but i'm focusing my my designs on all celebration items okay so i'm sure that you have some car uh, some uh, supplies at home uh, that you can substitute if you want to okay and then uh, if your order is over $50 before shipping and tax, then you will receive the cards. You will receive one celebration item from Stampin' Up! And you will receive uh, a free embellishment for me, from me that um, I'll use on most of the cards. So in this case are the metallic pearls and it will be a value of seven dollars so you will get with over 50 you will get an item from here of your choice okay plus the cards plus um the embellishment um that is there okay this is my website this is where you want to go i will put all the information at the end of the video in the description of the video and um, that's it so as you all know that celebration ends on the 28th of this month so we have only a few days and by the way your if you want to take advantage of this special your orders have to be placed on february 26th if you placed an order i'm gonna be so nice and good if you placed an order this week okay starting monday so from monday today until the Saturday is the 26th. I'm going to have those orders if uh, obviously are, you know, within this range. So at least over $35, you get to be included in my last chance uh, uh, promotion. Okay. So let's start in and welcome everybody. So let's go on with the first card. Let's see which one. Okay. The first card that I uh, designed um, for this one, I uh, started from the beginning. So I don't think I ever showed you the Island Vibes stamp set. And so I'm using this stamp set right here in combination with the 
uh, where are they? The Marb the Simply Marvelous Designer Series Paper, six by six. Oops, I think I'm too far away. Okay, so um, I'm combining the two of them because I counted, we have nine different products in the in the celebration. So I, you know, to focus on each one of them, I would have had to make nine cards, but I don't think that would be possible. And so the class includes only six. So I, I will try, I'm trying to combine the products. So just to show you, this is the stamp set. This is the Island Vibes. And it is a red rubber stamp set or cling. And this is the pack of six by six designer series paper that has different colors. And we're going from Costa Cabana to Flirty Flamingo, I think. And then we have our blues and yellows and grays. And then we have purple right there okay so we have a bazillion of colors that coordinate with this packet and it's balmy blue gray basic gray blushing bride bumblebee so uh coastal cabana flirty flamingo so we have blue gray pink yellow blue uh, another shade of pink purple two both of the purples misty moonlight that i love pool party and smoky slate Okay, so let's go on and start putting this card together. Hello, Janet. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Deb. Hello, Kay. And I think I said hello to everybody. So I am going to go on and start with my card. So this card, for this card, I uh, wanted to do a technique, a stamping technique that is the... We call it the triple stamping, but in my case, will be just the double stamping, okay? And I'm not going to show you the project, the final projects. Um, hello, Rita. And you, um, we're just going to work through, okay? So this is um, Calypso Coral Car Base. Card base, not car, but card, okay? Right there. And I'm setting it aside. Then I have, um, this is Old Olive, another layer of Calypso Coral, two pieces of it. So whatever you see here is what you will get in your um, package, okay? All these bits and pieces, you will receive that to make the card. Exactly as mine or however you want to. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take these little, these two, and now we're going to start with the technique. I'm going to move everything to the side, and then I'm going to show you what I used. So for this technique, I have two layers, and I'm going to grab a removable, 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 <laughs> adhesive you could use our regular stamping seal but because it's so sticky you might have um, the problem of removing this so I had an old removable adhesive and I'm gonna use this put it down in the back actually secure the um, the corners and try to kind of center it somewhat top and bottom and left to right okay there let me move everything to the side then i'm going to take um these stamps and these are part of of the stamp set okay i'm gonna leave the stamp there and i'm using the pineapple and these are the colors so there are different things by the way i'm using also another product that, that is in the celebration brochure um, this is a $50 order value so this is something that you can get for 50 the designer series paper is also a $50 uh, free gift 
So your order has to be at least $50 to get it. This one, the special moments, is one of the items that is in the level two. So you will need an order of $100 in order to get this one. And it's a photopolymer stamp set with 21 individual stamps. Okay. Hello, Kay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this right here. And I'm going to take my pear pizzazz. This is not a technique that Monica has invented. This is a technique that has been around. Somebody else had the brain to think about it. Uh, but I like it. It can be done in different ways. So I am inking my um, stamp. And I'm trying now. Because of the borders... I need to see where I am stamping because I don't want to see a, a white where I'm at there. So I'm going to do it like so. Okay, so I am stamping on both layers. Okay, it looks awful, right? But wait, and then I'm going to repeat the same. on here on the opposite corner okay so these are okay voila then what am I gonna do okay then I can separate these two now and because this is removable i can use my fingers and take this uh, adhesive away so it's not gonna or take the one of the adhesive removals remove do it like so but my fingers work as well okay so this is not sticky anymore and here we go so this is my bottom and this is my top okay so let's work on this one let's work on this one so now i can go ahead and layer this on here okay and i'm gonna use my snail no snail this is my stamping seal and this has a border of about one eighth of an inch. Okay, like so. And now I'm taking a strip of the uh, designer series paper from the Simply Marvelous. So, and I'm gonna go home and use this side of it. So this is also, you will get this strip in your little card kit and we're going to glue it down okay and now i can put this one on since i don't have some, this i because of these these cards i'm trying to keep them as simple as possible because you need to make them at home okay And then I'm going to go with this one, put it away, so start this one first. Make sure that if you have any questions to write them down and then I'll look at the end of the video. Let me just try to center this, kind of, top and bottom, and this part is done. I can put it away. Now I'm going to work on this. And what I decided to do is, first of all, I'm gonna take my stamping blend. This is crumb cake, and this is in the dark crumb cake. And I'm gonna take my, um, what is this, bone folder, and I'm gonna do a little bit of speckles on my card. It's really light. There you go. It's working now. Okay. Give it a little bit of a 
texture there. So it's not so white. Okay, right there. That is done. Then I'm going to take the sentiment that says just a little high from me. And it comes from this stamp set. And I'm going to stamp it in Memento Black. Okay. And let's see if I can stamp it straight. Oh my God, I got to get down here. Yeah, not too bad. Could have been better, but that's okay. I'm not going to touch it. If I don't like it, I'm going to modify it. Because I'm going to stamp it on a little piece of... Um, I might do it later. Mm, I might. Okay, now I'm going to show you another technique. But I also did it already. So I'm taking my pineapple. Okay. And I'm taking... Old Olive and Crushed Curry. These are Stamping Right markers. These are water-based. And you can use them to do this technique, uh, but not the blend. You cannot do with this one, okay? You cannot do this technique. And these markers have a fine line and a thick line to tell me that this is the brush tip and this is the writing tip, okay? So I'm going to use... And when I do this technique, I don't use the point. I never use any of the tip. Um, I never use the tip, okay? Either on this one or on this one because then you get, you're get you going to ruin the tip. They're going to split, okay? And also because doing so, you have more of a coverage of your stamp. Okay, so I'm going to color, try to color the part that has only the you know, the body of the pineapple, the pineapple itself, like so. And then, and then I'm going to take my brush tip for my, what's the name of this? I don't know, the top of the pineapple. <laughs> Do I know what the name of it is? No, because English is not my first language. And so I think this should be good. Okay, make sure that you cover all of it, all the edges. And then when you're done, you're going to huff and puff on this. Let me make sure that this is covered. Okay, you're going to moist the stamp again. And then you're going to go ahead and stamp it on your piece of basic white cardstock okay and then let's see if I get a good decent result and yes so you get this okay I'm not to worry about this part because you will see it so what I've done I've done the same and I went ahead and fussy cut it so I don't have and then here's what you have right there so now I'm going to go ahead and put all this together. I need to let you know that I also used this, um, the Timeless Tropical stamp set. No, I didn't use the stamp set on this one. I just wanted to show you that I used, um, though, I used the dies. And I used this die and I used this die for the flowers. Okay, the stamp set. I did not use it on this card. I'm going to show you a card that I made with that. Now I'm going to take my glue dots right here. And taking these, the leaves that I cut from using the dies. And these are pear pizzazz. See how details, detailed this is? I love it. By the way, these dies are in the annual catalog. Okay, dies and stamp set, both of these. There's a stamp set, a, a bundle in the J2J, so January to June uh, catalog. Um, it, it is available there, but I personally did not purchase that, so I'm using this one, and this one is going to go like so. Okay, and I'm using my dimensionals. 
of course, you know me, one down here and one up here. Okay. And this goes like so. Voila. And then I die cut um, using the flowers right here. You can get three of them. I die cut it using the uh, same pattern, the same color of the designer series paper. And this is gonna go on with a dimensional, not dimensional, I'm sorry, glue dot. And it's gonna go like so, okay? And that is good, that is good. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this piece of um, Calypso Coral. We're going to uh, use the glue or the stamping seal, glue it on this one. like so then i am going i'm going to finish it at the end so now i'm going to take my card and this is going to match do you see the border right there is going to match so i can choose to put it down with just regular adhesive or put some dimensional on it but i'm going to go with my stamping seal and that's it. Trying to match. Okie dokie. Voila. Then I'm taking yet again a glue dot. Right here. And then this is going to go up here so nobody knows of you know whatever is missing there then i'm going to take the pearls they come in a packet like this uh, you have a hundred and no 242 pearls in here one is gold and one set is in gold and the other one is silver but you can color them any color you like because if you take your stamping blends you can color them in red you can color them in black, so you can do everything with those. And I'm taking whatever, because I have a bunch of loose ends here. And so in your packet, with your $35, over $35, you will receive your pearls or and um, this one as well. If your order is over 50, then the pearls come in the package. Okay, and now I'm going to grab my, and I'm going to do three of these to cover like so. And then one is going to be there and one over there. Okay, this is card number one. Okay, so there you go simple and easy then if you want to go any further you can apply a little bit of Winko Stella that kind of stuff but I thought that this was you know more of a what you might call it jungle think or tropical look now let me show you a card that I designed and this is actually part of the tutorial that I am part of and I keep on forgetting to remind it that um I have this available as well with a um, minimum $40 order. So right here, uh, if your order is all 50, then you also get a tutorial of 16 different projects. My team automatically gets it. My team, uh, the Happy Basement Stampers, they automatically get it. Uh, but in this case, um, I think they already got it, yeah. But this is the other one that I designed with so this is what it's in the um, thing. This is a lot of fussy cutting and layering. And this, that's why I had my stamp set out because the thank you comes from the Timeless Tropical stamp set. Okay? So just to remind you, I used these dies and I used the special moments that probably I will use in some other cards. 
and then the island vibes this is what you can do with that and then also you have the plant that what i love about it is that when you stamp it it's um kind of a 3d as you can see it gives you all the different shading on the colors and that kind of stuff okay so that's done that's card number one let me put everything away so i don't get it messed up with the, the other card that I'm going to do. Okay, this can be put away. What do you think? Thank you. I don't know if you guys have this stamp set. It was not on my radar, radar, whatever you say it. But then I decided, okay, let me grab it. And actually, the first time that I used it is when I... Um, created the tutorial for the group okay so now I need that this one can go away this one it can go away so for the first one we had a technique for the second one we have a fun fold okay and this is not um, it's a fun fold that I used in one of the um, uh, mystery stamping that we did with my with the happy basement stampers during one of our meetings and so I'm gonna show it so the next pairing of product that I did is going in order I'm using the daffodil afternoon designer series paper this is another um, another um, item that you can get with a $50 order okay I showed you La, the other time let me just grab them uh, what we did remember I did these cards with uh, during one of my lives let me see where's the other card I know I made four right there so these are my four cards that I did with the designer series paper this is a card that I received in a swap uh, the happy basement stampers swap and this is some and this is a card that i received from one of uh, the happy basement stampers that she sent me a card as you can see this designer series paper is beautiful is beautiful Be beautiful okay so i'm using this in combination of the catching butterflies stamp set and because the patterns of this paper are not all flowery because you know the one side has a flower the reverse has different patterns like this 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 already showed it to you this one has this and what else let me see black there this one and this pattern has the hearts and the pad, as you can see, I've used it, has this one. So they, it could be versatile. It is versatile. You don't have to use it with the Daffodil um, Daydream Bundle. But, of course, that will be a good choice to get if you want the designer series paper for free. Okay, so my card. Let me grab everything. My basket of stuff. So this is the stamp set. Catching Butterflies, it is um, a red rubber, okay, with seven different stamp set, stamps, love the sayings, one, two, three, love it, so basically I'm, we're using everything but one saying. Okie dokie, let's start with this card, okay, there. So I am using these this color combination. Even though it's not really in the back of the car of the these are not all in the list of uh, colors that they coordinates with the designer series paper. Um, but I am using pear pizzazz, and as my pink, I went with magenta madness and magenta madness is one of the ink colors that are going to retire okay so 
make sure as i was mentioning last night um around april april is when the list of retiring products will come out i don't know exactly when um, but the ink colors 2020 through 2022 are retiring for sure car stock ink pads markers re-inkers anything that coordinates all the ribbon that we have that coordinates if we still have some no not for this one so my suggestion is go ahead and get them now before they fly off the shelves okay so there you go so i'm folding this card and then i'm folding this so this is um eight and a and a fourth and a quarter by four and a fourth and then it's scored a five and a half so i have this flap right here okay and then i have this piece that i think is nine and a half by four by hold on uh three and a half and we're gonna fold it in half as well voila okay making sure that everything matches and i see go so these two i don't need i don't need and this goes over there and then i have two pieces of very vanilla because they coordinate with the designer series paper we're going to work on one and for that i'm going to get my pool party and one of the blending brushes and we're going to brush a bit of color so take it up there tap it here and start okay just to give a little bit of a sky looking like it and you can be as meticulous as you want in your blending you know going over and over and blending 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 but mine it's meant to be kind of um, like this. For the bend blending brushes, we have sets of three. They're $12 each packet. A packet, not $12 each. is a $12 cost for three of them. Uh, and then what I did, I am going to have one that has all the blues, the other one all the yellows and that kind of stuff you can collect them all for each or uh, in every each uh, color that we have in the stamping up families but um you don't need to and also you can wash it under um cold water you see all the ink coming off and it might not come right back you know as white as before but these are the oops these are the ones that i washed but as you can see they're almost almost you know some stain more than other but this one is washed okay so these are washed so now i have my gray here my yellow my blue and then i'll have my red and whatever it is okay so for this one, I've done it, done it. Now I'm going to get my, take my memento right here. Take my stamps out. So I'm going to start with my little girl here. And I'm going to stamp her like so. Okay, this will have a little bit of coloring, so you gotta be patient with me. I should have just, you know, put it together. Um, but what is the fun of it, right? So then I'm gonna get um, butterflies, butterflies. And I think we're pretty good. Butterfly. And then I'm going to grab the single butterfly. And this is going to be 
right there. And actually, she's going to be right there as well. So it's all there. Okay. That, that, and I'm going to clean because I'm going to need these after. Okay, and let me clean the girl so I don't get ink. Voila. Now I'm going to grab this little stamp. This should be the grass. But I need to make sure that I'm stamping it the right way. Yes, Melissa, thank goodness for replay, right? So, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so this is the grass. Oof, I didn't need to put my fingers in there. And this is spare pizzazz. And let me clean again. I should have my chamois open, but then it dries out. And then let me finish the stamping. And then we're gonna go ahead and color. Okay, set this aside. I'm going to take my sentiment, and my sentiment says collecting sweet thoughts of you. And I have a die cut circle from So Saffron, and I used the circle, layering circle dies. These are a must. I mean, these are just a must. This is one of my favorite celebrations. Oh, good. And we are going to kind of stamp it. Voila. And now we're going to work on the other piece. For the inside, that would be this one. And for this one, because we have the butterflies, we're going to use magenta madness that coordinates with the um, car stock, the cart base. And let's see, I am going to stamp um, like so and like so. That's it. And then this is the inside. And then I'm going to save that. And then the other sentiment that I'm going to use on the inside, it says, you make my heart happy. That's why I got this pattern. Right? It coordinates. And then we're going to use memento. And we're going to try to stamp it as straight as possible. Let me try it here first. Whoa, that's crooked. So let's see. Hmm. Crooked. Let me just stamp this one first. Okay. Can you see my head? No. Hopefully no. Okay. That's better than before. Sometimes when I mount my stamps, they all go wonky. So now I can do this. Voila. So this, and then I'm going to stamp using the same on color and, co and color. And then I'm going to go there and there. Okay. But even if it was a line, it because um, I see what you're saying, but because I mounted mine crooked, the label is crooked, so... It will be still a process. Okay, 
So let's work on this part first. This goes like so, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and color and finish the card. Oops. Okie dokie. So this goes like so. Voila. Okay. Then we are going to work on this. And this is going to go the better of the two. Which one is the better of the two? Let me see. This way. They're exactly the same. And you know what? I like this one better. So... That's how this goes, like so. And let's go ahead and color quickly, if you can call it quickly. So, what do I have? I have Magenta Madness, I have um, Flirty Flamingo, I have Ivory Tone, I have Dark... Um, Daffodil Delight, and I have a set of the new colors, the new blends, the ones that are the tone. And this is the 100, no, what is the 500, okay? That I don't remember where I used it. Yeah, I know, I used this light for her hair. Just got these, so I'm gonna go ahead and color quickly. Quickly, just here, paying attention that she's not going to get any color on her face. Okay, so of course, um, you could do this at home, or you could use whichever other stamp set you might have to substitute. As you can see, you will get a plain piece of... Um, vanilla cardstock so you can even use flowers you can use whatever but the idea is that you could be you can create a card okay so that is done i'm gonna go with the ivory and to go quick around her eyes Quick, quick to color. Okay. For neck, now I'm going to switch to the bullet point because of her hands, her legs. Okay. There, there. Okie dokie. And now I'm going to use the light of the magenta madness and i'm gonna go right here for now and then i'm gonna go over okay just go around the edges so i don't go over the lines and then I'll use the brush, the rush. And off I go. See how one side is colors darker than the other one? Okay. So this is how Monica colors. I am not a coloring or watercoloring person. So I'm going to go over with this because her neck looks different and her legs are very pale because the alcohol has, you know, gone on the other side. Okay, done. And now let's go ahead quickly to color our butterflies. Let me see if I remember what I did. 
this will be a quick process and then we're gonna go well we're gonna make it all different okay right here this is gonna get up this is gonna be like so okay then I'm gonna grab my flirty flamingo and I'm gonna go with that quickly and then this one is gonna get flirty flamingo you can make your butterfly look however you like but in um, for the you know sake of doing it because everybody can color right I'm not here to give you a a coloring lesson because I'm not the, the person to do it we're gonna go just quick this is gonna be like so And this is gonna be like so try to give a variety um, this is gonna be dark and again right here fast 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 this is gonna be yellow and then we're going to touch the other one. And I think I'm done. Okay. This one we're going to make it like so. Let's use this one. Not to make a mess. Okay, and this one is going to go like so. That's it. That's my coloring. I did it right. Uh, and this lady is going to be like so, just to balance it out a bit. Voila. Done with the coloring. You get an A in our class for coloring. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Okay, now this is going to be going up here. Okay. Then we're going to grab this. We're going to tuck it in like so. as you can see okay so making sure that is interlocking so then we're going to press down there then i'm going to take a dimensional that dimensional will go down here and i'm going to attach that over there so that is going to be sealing the card so when you open it it's like so so you have the butterflies flying and over there i could have stamped there but that's okay oh i can still do that hopefully i'm not going to mess up the card but we'll see there okay and that's it so then you can write whatever sentiment and this gets it gets tucked in there we're not done because we need our embellishment that i have put somewhere over the rainbow where's the big piece i don't know where i put it so i'm gonna use whatever i have laying around because these are bits and pieces of it Oh, here it is. 
and there. So this one goes like so. I'm going to put one right there. I'm going to put one on the pink. One on this pink. And one. One, two, four, and this one on the yellow. Okay. My card is done. So this is my original. And the other one is what I did tonight with you. So card number one, come card number one. Where's the other one in card number two for the day? So two. Okay, I want to show you some of the samples that I got uh, from Swaps. For this one, just an idea, they fussy cut the girl and then they glued it on top of the image that they went stamped. This is just a combination and I think they used which designer series paper is that. I like that they color that. Mm, I'm going to do that with the net right now. And I'm going to do it with with my yeah it gives it more of a definition duh see that's why you do swaps you get ideas voila okie dokie So these two are two of the six, okay? That is it. So remember, if you're interested, you can place your order at any time, but as long as you have it in by February 26th, and these are the parameters, then you will get to get the supplies for these cards. Okay, ladies, that is all for tonight. I will see you tomorrow at noon, okay? Uh, thank you for being here, and um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.